Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do a year or nay video. And the thing is, I nearly, nearly mm, did not do this video on this show because, first of all, I thought I've never seen the show I'm going to review is Star Trek Discovery. I have never seen any Star Trek movie or show, I have never seen any Star Wars movie prequel, none of that. So I felt like why should I do this year or nay video? Then I remember that I had actually done a year or nay of Orville, which is a spoof of Star Trek. So if there's going to be a Star Trek show, I thought, why not do a year or nay on the show? So the show premiered last Sunday, it, it, like two episodes premiered, and you can watch it on CBS All Access. But if you're in Africa like me, and CBS All Access doesn't show in your region, you can watch it on Netflix. So that is how you can get to watch Star Trek Discovery, either on CBS on Netflix but I'll go with Netflix because CBS All Access you have to pay for it and that's like another one like subscription you have to pay for there are so many now I mean they should like honestly figure out what to do first of all Star Trek Discovery is based on Star Trek so it's like a ship that is no going on, that's in space that's going on expedition but the one thing I like about it can we get a year for diversity a year for inclusion Oh my, like, I'm so excited. The fact that the main character is a black woman, check. There's an Asian woman in it, the aliens, the other species. So that's inclusion, that's diversity. And I really like that. Like for the fact that the person who's actually fronting the show is a black woman, I'm here for it. And also, the one thing I like about the show for the first episode was that they didn't try to bring any romantic entanglement. I don't know, for most of the shows I've seen, this like so far there has to be some sort of romantic something in the first episode even in the good doctor but for this it was just devoid of any romantic and like romantic anything or like romance or like relationship it was all about you know there's an enemy ship that's going to attack us and should we or should we not find the enemy ship you know ideals and the push and pull between characters was very evident in this first episode i have i started watching a second episode but then i'm late for work so i decided not to watch a second episode and then just do this review but so far the show looks very promising like i if you are not into sci-fi it might not be much your speed but i, I promise like you should give it a try because you would really really enjoy it because you know it's the same sci-fi thing is set in the future when we are in intergalactic travels and everything so one thing i like about it apart from the diversity is the fact that it looks amazing like the set looks amazing the cgi also looks amazing the special effects look amazing i don't know why nowadays they're trying so much with the shows like right now the tv shows are, are being really amazing because like when i watch i'm like you know you can actually even though some some of them feel still feel a little bit off you can actually get like that feeling that you might actually see this in a cinema so i like the effect so much i like the set pieces so much i like the costumes so much and i like these costumes better than i like the orville costumes the orville costumes i don't know i don't know if it's because it's supposed to be a spoof so everything is so light but these ones are dark and I, like they are more at my speed so comparing star trek discovery and C uh, fox's orville I'll go with Star Trek Discovery. Like, I know a lot of people say that there's nothing like the original, but all people still feel some way, especially after the last episode, it's episode three, with the baby that was born a female that they reoriented to become a male. It was all over the place. And that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about Star Trek Discovery. But my point is, Star Trek Discovery is really good. I, I really like the the power in which the the protagonist that's she's called michael and that's one thing i like about it, the fact that she's called michael and it's very androgynous i don't know now there's 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 so many androgyny going on in hollywood like to in a way to bring about diversity and inclusion and i like it i think sonequa martin green that's her name i think she's really great in the show i'm hoping to see more action from them i'm hoping to see more like you know a lot of stuff from them but so far so good so yay or nay yay it's a thumbs up for me for star trek discovery i actually want the rest and i'll tell you what i think about most of the shows i think in october i'm going to talk about most of the shows that have premiered so far and which i need to watch in order of preference so my name is ifalabi i'm done with this year or nay video star trek discovery yay for me 
and try it watch it let me know what you thought about it and i'm so sorry if this video is so short i, I i'm beaten time and i have to go so check out my other videos whilst you're here because i mean what why you do why you do it why you do it why you do it so check out my other videos i'll catch you on my next video and i'll see you next time bye